Hey, welcome back. My name is Mike, and today I've got another free patch for you HX Stomp and Helix users. But before we head over to and look through these two patches, I did want to take a minute to uh, just talk through my thought process on this one because it's a little bit unique. So in the worship guitar realm, we kind of live in this world of uh, a certain style of amp tones. Um, and you've probably heard them be described as uh, you know, chimey, round, um, I don't know, think of all the adjectives, you know, uh, gritty, clear, punchy, the chimes, gotta have the chime, you know. Uh, and the reality is, you know, whether you play at church or you, or you use, um, you know, pedals with a clean or clean-ish amp for whatever you're doing, we tend to gravitate towards those, you know, those traditional Fender tones, those Vox tones, you know, matchless tones. There's so many good ones out there. But if we all use the same tones, what fun is that, right? And maybe we need something sometime that uh, fits a little better in a dense mix. So this was a personal kind of challenge uh, on myself. I wanted to see if I could do it, make something, you know, kind of capture this particular tone. But what I put together is a tweed and dual tweed patch. In my mind, when I think of a tweed, I think of the small Fender tweeds, uh, the, you know, single 1x12s with like three knobs on them, super simple. And there's a couple characteristics of these amps that I kind of wanted to capture to make it useful uh, for me and hopefully for you as well. And really the main characteristic of this tweed style amp is kind of that uh, aggressive or maybe the present mid-range and then the aggressive kind of gritty raspy high end that uh, I think contrasts well with again some of the more stereotypical tones that you see in the worship world or in those clean amp uh, pedal more pedal platform style amp. That present mid-range and that aggressive high end uh, should be pretty useful if you're looking for a unique tone to help you kind of fit in the mix a bit. For this particular patch I was thinking more along the lines of more rhythm playing. You'll be able to hear it works well for for, for leads as well but in my mind I was thinking a, a rhythm guitar that had some present highs and that fit, would fit in a mix well. So keep that in mind. Number two, I will say this, for these patches that I've kind of put together, we'll, we'll be using the Tele, and I do think it lends itself to those single coil um, guitars a little better. Not to say the humbuckers don't work. Of course they do, use what you have. It was definitely it was definitely easier to achieve some of those, the tweed tones I was going after with the single coil pickups. Links are down below. Uh, head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page. Uh, download those patches. Uh, please, I welcome feedback if things are, you know, if things don't work, if things don't sound good, uh, let me know. Uh, my, my hope and my prayer is just to be a resource for you guys. So, without any further talk, oh, there's gonna be more talking, crap. With all that out of the way, let's head over and take a look at these patches. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna start with the patch that is to be integrated with a full board. Uh, and first and foremost, um, here's kind of the basic tone okay so I got just nothing else going on except some compression at the beginning of the board sounds like this <laughs> it's a little gritty starting to break up there and you can start to hear some of those tweed characteristics that uh, we're going for. Um, really quickly through the patch here, I put a chorus. And then a uh, the bias trim here. And then uh, my reverb and delay are sitting in my effects loop here. Um, and then basically, as far as AM models, what I'm using here is a Fullerton Normal on one side, and they Fullerton Bright on another. Um, nothing too crazy, they're pretty simple amps, so uh, just wanted them to be similar, kind of complement each other. And then over to the cab section, you can kind of see um, on the first side, we have this 112. Grammatico, and on the other side, a 4x10 tweed 
um, gives a nice little compliment. <laughs> I think it's starting to capture the tweed tweed idea here. Um, of course, at the end, I have a whole video about kind of this EQ block, uh, so go check that out. But our EQ stereo parametric EQ is there, and let's hear how it handles some drives. Uh, a Timmy, right here. So right away you can hear what I'm talking about. It's a it's a unique sound. Um, it's not normal, it's not chivey, it just kind of has this uh, grit and raspiness to it. That just sounds sweet and unique, that's the whole point. Um, a, a tube screamer. And then you guys know you like I like my clean boost. So here's an 8 dB clean boost. And really the amps are set up so that when they're pushed, they all kind of sound, you know, similar. We're again trying to capture the sound of those vintage tweed amps. Um, just for kicks really quick before we move on to the next one. Um, you guys have seen the patch really quick. Again, pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna put some like a medium haul and some delay on here uh, just so you guys can hear how they handle that. We'll start cleaning and then I'll add the Timmy and then the clean boost. So you guys can hear um, quite a quite a unique tone in comparison to maybe some of the more stereotypical stuff that again you'll hear on Sunday or whatever. So um, without any further interruption, let's pop over to the all-in-one patch and we'll take a look at that. All right, I know I said no interruptions, but my wife just brought me um, a fresh chocolate chip cookie, so it'd be rude to let that cool down. If you know, you know. Yeah. Okay, that just happened. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sorry about it. With only a minor interruption, we're right over into the all-in-one patch. So we're straight in here. Um, really quickly, you can run through the patch itself. Um, I went with a red squeeze as a, for a compressor. Um, I usually go with a deluxe comp, but um, you know, figured I'd try something different. Mix halfway. Uh, just. Kind of went with a little vintage action. I don't know, just thought something more vintage would fit better. Um, the gain here, which we'll get into with the snapshots, I've got the Scream 808 pushing the Fullerton Bright channel. The cabs are very similar, if not exactly the same, from the dual patch, um, with the exception of the delay. I usually add a little bit of delay here, you can see between the two sides. Um, 12 milliseconds there, uh, stereo parametric EQ, that's a uh, go-to for me, and then we have uh, vintage digital and a dynamic plate, both in stereo after the amps. So this is a more traditional all-in-one patch um, with the wet effects after the amp. There's not a ton of DSP left 
when you use the red squeeze to add something here but again the goal of these patches is to be something simple for you guys just to just to get some good sounds that are easy easy and accessible so um out of the box is what this sounds like this is just the compression on we'll turn off the turn off just kidding we'll turn off the delay and reverb <laughs> So a little more gain, a little, a uh, little more grit than the kind of our core tone from uh, the pedal board patch. But since with the wet effects after, I think it it works out. So, and you can be a little more dynamic. And again, my thought process with this patch in particular is that it would be good for. It would be good for like a, a rhythm or someone who's um, not necessarily playing all the lead lines, playing more accents, playing um, different stuff to complement maybe a lead guitar or you know a, an EG one or whatever. Um, so that's our chord tone. Uh, maybe a little brighter than I typically go, but I think it I think it works. I think it works. Um, snapshot, really quick, we'll hit the gain. Okay, well, uh, snapshot two. You'll notice did not turn on the tube screamer. Um, it's actually just turning up a couple of things on the amp. So um, between basically we're turning up the drive, the normal drive, and the bright drive. Starting to capture what I think the Tweed amps are kind of known for, like that, that kind of crispy, gritty, high end. It's kind of an interesting sound because it almost feels clean. Even though it's not. Uh, snapshot 3 would add the Tube Screamer. Just like pushing those mids for that um, <clears throat> gets gets aggressive. I like it. Um, before we go on too far, this was uh, my thought process on this particular patch was more geared towards um, some rhythm playing. The delay and the reverb settings are kind of are kind of more directed towards that, so there's nothing super ambient here. You can hear the, uh, you know, stereo spread on the delay, and you know the 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 reverb's pretty mild in comparison to most some things. So I'll run through um, the snapshots with this, and then as a reminder, uh, foot stitch one is snapshot up, foot stitch two is kind of your uh, more wet effects. And then foot switch three is your tap tuner, um, keeping it simple. Um, so I'll just run through some snapshots and go back and forth between the two delay and reverb settings to give you guys an idea of what we got going on here. So.
that's it guys um again uh if you want to check these out links down below um you can buy, buy me a coffee page all the free stuff is down there um give them a shot let me know what you think and uh subscribe because there's going to be more um again this is just something i enjoy doing i'll take your feedback and um hopefully i'm a resource hopefully it's a resource for you guys something new something for you to build off of um stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time